All right guys, so welcome to another force scan video. Today we're going to remove the chime or the mind on the seat belts for both, I'll show you how to do both passenger and driver. All right, here we go. All right, so we all know what the seat belt chime is. You take your seat belt off. You start driving probably a little harder than like five miles an hour or something. You hear the ding, 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 right? And it doesn't stop. So, I'm a big fan of seat belts. I know they save lives. If you're not worried about your own life, at least worry the lives. Worry about the lives that are in the car with you and you can help save their lives but definitely use your seatbelt all the time so the seatbelt chime is good it reminds you to put the seatbelt on if you forget or if you're not wearing it while you're driving around but um, we're gonna just show you real quick how to remove that chime just so it's not annoying and you can really be in control of your own idea of what you need to do or don't need to do or when you're driving off-road or driving in the country or driving in a parking lot or just moving the car out of the driveway you, you might not really need that little annoying chime to be going off constantly um, so, so let me show you how to do that okay so just like every other four scan mod we start with connecting the ELM 325 sorry the ELM 325 to the UB2 port OBD2 port and again, I have the USB connection here. We're gonna open up for scan here. All right, it should always be set up to on H, the this flip the switch down here. It starts better that way. It won't connect if it's on M. All right, so we're gonna go down here to connect. All right. Make sure the ignition is on, on, and let's roll. All right. If found, so somebody had asked if you can do this on different vehicles. You, yes, you just hit no here when you hook up a different car, and it'll load the profile for the existing car it's connected to. These are both the same cars. You can just click yes. Okay, so it loads the same profile. It's readying vehicle. There it goes. So do I have an M? Yes. Flip the switch. And okay. Alright, see down here it says ready. Now we can go into here. All right, so now after configuration, you're gonna go into the IPC module, which is on the second page, and that's it right there, IPC. We're gonna go down and click on run, or the little play button down here, right there. Read the warning signs, or verbiage here. All right, so now before we do anything else, before we continue, very important uh, part, uh, point that was brought up by all of you guys, and I'm sorry I didn't show you all this earlier. Down here where it says save all, you can actually save all here, call it stock IPC, right, because we're in the IPC module, and it'll save all these settings right here. All these settings will be saved. So in case you ever need to do anything or go back or uh, restore, then you have it all saved right there. And I'm gonna click OK. Now it's gonna say it's already exists. Do you wanna rename Overwrite it? Yes. All right, so this is my stock, okay? So now, in order to change this, we're gonna look at the 720101. The second set of numbers. That third digit, the number six right there, mine's the number six. I don't I have no idea what yours is. It might be something different. But mine's the number six, and in order to remove the driver's side, it's going to be a two. Change this to a two. 
change the 6 to a 2. To remove the passenger, it's going to be a 4. And to remove both, so that's a 4. Okay. And then to remove both of them, driver and passenger, we're looking at making this a 0. Now, I have no idea what, what a 1 or a 3 or a 7 or 12. I, there, I have no idea what anything else is. Obviously, a 12 is not going to work. You could try that. You could try 1, 2. Um, but a 0. But now we're going to click right. And we're going to click on yes. But you read the warnings. Do this at your own risk. So everything shut down. Start it back up. AC always turns on for me. I don't know why, but it does. And let's go ahead and turn the truck off. So I'm sorry I have the truck on because uh, this battery is running low on this thing. But all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn the truck back on. We're gonna click OK here and stop. Up here where it says, uh, actually, let me show you all this real quick. So back in IPC, we're going to hit run again. So now you see the zeros in there, right? Sorry, up here, the zeros in there. If you want to load stock, just click here to load all down here. It's going to load all the settings to stock. And you're going to click OK. See, it switched it back. See that? So, I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to switch it back. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Alright, so we're going to go test it now, okay? See how it worked. Alright, so I'm not wearing a seatbelt. You can see here, no seatbelt. And there is no light saying that a seatbelt should be put on. And there's also no uh, chime or beam or mind or bell or whistle, whatever. Nothing at all. It's all just up to me to decide if I want a seatbelt or not. The truck's not reminding me. Okay, again, this is something that you can do if you wish. Um, I don't recommend it. Just go ahead and uh, leave that thing on. It's a good reminder to put your seatbelt on because it's just safer, right? Um, one day maybe one of your kids or a family member will be driving your car and the seatbelt reminder is not on and they're not going to put it on if something happens you don't want to be responsible for that so just leave it on all right guys thanks so much for watching the videos don't forget to like and subscribe check out some of these other videos i got too